mechanism of the disease. Let's go to the pathology. What causes Meniere's disease is still debatable, but it's probably either human CMV virus or H. pylori. The problem in Meniere's disease is hyperplasia of these glands, fovular hyperplasia. When these glands undergo hyperplasia, they will lead to increase, increase mucus secretion. This mucus is protein, by the way. This is important. Okay, hyperplasia is bad. Why? There is evil, which means cancer. Any hyperplasia is precursorous to cancer, except for... BPH, benign prosthetic hyperplasia, is not precancerous. What else? This hyperplasia of these fovular cells will affect the other cells, will compete with them, will knock them off, so they will undergo hypoplasia and atrophy. Atrophy of the chief cells leading to less pepsinogen and less pepsin okay because this reaction like pepsinogen gets converted into pepsin okay and this by the help of pepsin by the help of the hcl this one okay also the parietal cells are getting knocked off so hydrochloric acid will decrease leading to decreased hydrogen ions and decreasing the intrinsic factor leading to malabsorption of vitamin B12. Okay. As a response to this decrease in the hydrogen ions, the G cells will increase more gastrin. So, let's summarize the problem. We have increased mucus secretion, decreased pepsinogen and pepsin, decreased hydrochloric acid, decreased intrinsic factor, Increase gastrin as a response. This is the problem. Okay. Also, as a note, TGF alpha, okay, is responsible for Meniere's disease. What's TGF? It's transforming growth factor alpha. Okay, that's cool. So the complications in Meniere's disease are. Mm -hmm, Let's see, we have fovular hyperplasia, so there is increased risk of gastric adenocarcinoma. Perfect. There is loss of vitamin B12 because it's not absorbed, because there's no intrinsic factor. So, on the long run, there is megaloblastic anemia. Perfect. Okay, now, take care. Increased mucus secretion. This mucus is protein. When it is secreted into the lumen of the stomach, it's lost. It will be lost in the GI tract. This is protein being lost. Plus, decreased pepsin will lead to indigestion of proteins, which is also proteins being lost. This plus this equals protein losing gastropathy. What happens when you lose protein? You lose the oncotic pressure and you end up with generalized pitting edema. What are